At Nissan's mega media event in Delhi recently, the company's big wigs showcased their latest models and technologies that are being considered for the Indian market. On display were their three models: the Nissan Qashqai, the Nissan Juke, and the Nissan X Trail. Since the Nissan X Trail was already available in the Indian market previously as a CBU, and because it will be entering the Indian market soon, we decided to skip it and take a closer look at their two other funky models, the Nissan Qashqai and the Nissan Juke. And to tell us more about the interior and exterior design of the Nissan Qashqai and the Nissan Juke, we asked Christopher Lalo, project lead designer. of Nissan Design Europe to explain the nuances of design specially for our viewers so here goes top 3 and uh, this is super sensitive in, uh, in Europe and uh, so we invented this uh, new category and uh, you can see on the lower part it's very muscular uh, robust and then on the top part kind of inspired by hatchback it's very sleek So the lamp definitely is part of our DNA. It's a signature. So we have this little round light that we use uh, in so many vehicles. And uh, here, this corner, so uh, we have this gold shape that brings it to uh, air vent. It's an active one, so it means it's playing with the air. So we worked a lot with engineers, and uh, they were. Uh, here the thing, the thing is like a smooth pattern, so it's uh, you can see from far the V motion, but even when you come close, you can see small details. It's very precise and very neat, and it's all in gloss, so it's uh, it's quite premium. Yeah, it's a big print. You know you like it? Yeah. Mm. So this uh, this color, it's called the Pacific Blue. Okay. So it was our communication color when it was launched, and it's a very uh, striking. It's very polarizing. So like people kind of recognize this blue uh, mass on the end of the road, and then the lines going into the the wheel. So that emphasize this uh, V motion that I was talking about, and it's a super dynamic feel, and all around the event. Exactly, it's just to add this premiumness, this layer of feel, and uh, this kind of infinite amount of uh, small little details that really uh, talk to the customer. Again, it's a kind of uh, enhanced 
the boomerang movement. So you can see the tail is like having this boomerang shape. But we also, again, when you come close, you can see very small details inside. So you have different level of the view. And the outer lens is a very Swedish shape. So it's a kind of solid uh, view. And um, if you can tell us about, uh, you know, the Japanese are very good at maximizing space, mm. you know, especially in small cars. So tell us a little bit about, you know, how you have a to give us this kind of space. The lip is beautiful, it's not too, you know, it's just it's perfect. Yes. Perfect as for design, of course, we work a lot with uh, ergonomists, mm -hmm. but uh, with design, we try to make also things uh, very easy to use, uh, very straightforward, easy to understand. Definitely, you can grip here, and straight away, you know that uh, you can have a new function, right. so different uh, place to put your uh, belongings. And we work also even the when the gate is open, we work on trying to make all this area uh, as clean as possible. Oh, that, that, that is a big thing to tell you. Let's just go inside and take a look at, you know, how you think there's something here. Um, now you can tell us a little bit about the skin. Yeah, the lower part, again, it's uh, very uh, specific of this uh, SUV here. It's uh, robust. So it's like a protection, right. like a guard, so that will uh, protect your car and uh, very well very solid. We just step So the interior design, you can see we have this uh, very large uh, dash, kind of uh, gliding wing is our uh, theme, mm -hmm. and make it uh, very solid. And uh, you can see again, as you saw, uh, outside the layers of nice materials and a nice uh, pattern so you have a different level of uh, reading see it's embedded in the material it's uh, beautiful. it's beautiful right yes. and hairline also kind of the link between all the different parts and onto the door as well right mm. the display is fantastic it's mm. really crisp and yeah. really big and i mm. like you know these little touches to the, the edges. little chamfers very, exactly very yeah. nice. Uh, it, it kind of runs throughout definitely in, in yeah that was part of the the overall theme trying right. to uh, to cut and but keeping quite a sharp and the screen so this is uh, the, the the nine inch version right. but you will have also the 12 inch wow so this is 12 inch 12.2 mm -hmm. 12.3 maybe and the same size in here and I can also mm. see that there's a big roof a big yes. panoramic roof mm. uh, is that something that you see as a trend that is disappearing or is that you know kind of coming I mean what, as, as an international I mean, it, yeah it's been person. around quite, for quite right. a while yeah. uh, personally I love it it gives this really uh, uh, roomy feel right. uh, very uh, nice space over the head mm -hmm. and uh, what what could be better than to, to enjoy the the sun, which is quite rare in uh, London, so we want to be to keep it open. Right. <laughs> uh, I can also see that mm. uh, this is very stylish. Yeah. And very different, mm. and it gives uh, the whole car a very very clean look. Yeah, this is uh, one of my favorite part actually. Also, so the gear is slightly different from. Uh, uh, eyes to uh, e-power mm -hmm. and uh, but it's all by wire so we could have this tiny shift right. and uh, and we can move it like a joystick right. and feel like a kind of a bit of a video game and uh, goes in line with the, all the, the high-tech feel of Excellent. the car Excellent. Mm. great let's just hop into the next car yeah, yeah. Just tell us a little bit about the rear of the Jeep because it's just really so spectacular the way mm. it curves here and the really sharp lines. Mm. Please tell us. Yeah, so again, uh, those lamps, they uh, showcase our signature and they really pop out. Right. It's, uh, it also helps a lot in uh, aerodynamic, but then again, this very chunky uh, feel. But you can see because it's Juke, it's even more enhanced, more than the Qashqai. And, and tell us a little bit about this, you know, the way this kind of blacks out. Yes, this uh, trunk is also very special. Again, it's, uh, it's like uh, this little beast. Everything is uh, a bit of a, uh, a character and it's popping out everywhere and give very these uh, strengths. And this is the mm. Pacific blue color that you mentioned as well. Exactly. So that was uh, included for the e-power launch. Mm -hmm. 
as a communication color and because everybody loved it, everybody also wanted to see it on the, this product. Right. Uh, what can you tell us about you know, what's happening in terms of tail lights? Mm -hmm. Because they're getting uh, brighter and brighter, you know, with every coming year, mm -hmm. and that probably has to do with, uh, you know, I mean, LED like the technology. Yes, yes LED right. technology. Also, we want it crisp. We want people to recognize our car from far, right. and uh, that uh, signature is definitely something that is, is so Nissan. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yes, yeah, so again... What's really uh, challenging about, you know, mm. bringing in so much boot space in a small car like this? I mean, that's, we have really to work uh, nicely with engineers, with all the platform uh, people, and try to understand what's going to be easy for the customer. So, you, if you uh, incline the seats, it's going to be all a flat uh, floor. Right. But then, if you don't want to incline, but still want extra space here, yeah, it is. So you have it. You can also remove that. It's uh, it, yeah. It just match everybody's uh, needs. And uh, I see that there's a lot of use of black plastics. Mm. Uh, you know, as compared to you know the chrome that was used in the earlier years. Is it mm. just to reduce the weight or? It's uh, also give that uh, protective feel to people, right? You're not scared to notch a bit here, right. uh, around here. So it's. Uh, it's it's protective and uh, as we say we saw before it's uh, it's like a little buggy so it has to to be able to jump everywhere and on the wheel so uh, it takes kind of uh, a discovering theme that we see on uh, very efficient cars mm -hmm. so because this is the hybrid version so we want to have it, uh, to have a very sleek design very efficient aero right. I also see that mm. you know, the side profile has mm. just the most exquisite curves and lines. Yeah, I mean, you, you can see that theme like goes like that. Right. So it's really two interlocking volumes coming together. And we wanted to, to really enhance that. Okay, let's get mm. to the front part. Yeah. Mm. I can see beautiful trees lines. Mm. Yeah. Yes, again, uh, we saw that on the, the cash guy and that's really part of our identity. So uh, we didn't want to miss that. And this strong movement from far away back in the car towards the front, this really strong movement and that emphasized by the logo in the middle. Right. And I can see that you have blanked out. Uh, you know, the yes, the because grill. it's a more efficient car. Right. So it's, uh, it doesn't need as much air as, uh, and cooling as the... The, the full ice version and it helps in uh, aero also right. because and not go too to much. Headlights. Just totally spectacular. Huh? Yeah, exactly. That's uh, it's, it's, a, it's a mix of uh, high tech video game kind of uh, uh, animal eyes and so on. It's, uh, it's a mix of everything and it's just uh, yeah this uh, high low beam in the middle and the signature uh, on the side make it very very specific. Mm. So yeah, we have uh, on this car uh, LED uh, fog lamps. So we like the, especially as designers, because they are very small and as efficient as the, the bigger one. And those uh, little fins are just to, to enhance the, uh, the corner of the car. Just to, uh, you have that line that goes to the wheels and make it this a strong stance that we see on the, Somehow every car's here, but very nice on the Duke. Okay. Mm. Uh, can you tell us what is the brief for the Duke? The Duke, uh, it's, uh, you've seen the, uh, the previous version, so it was like uh, continue on that uh, amazing success. And, uh, but to give a bit more um, uh, seriousness, because uh, the previous one was such uh, a beautiful toy that yeah, now it has to be a slightly more grown up version okay yeah and you said that you know these cars also come in a lot of different colors mm. so tell us a little bit about you know the color scheme that you all have thought out because there are so many options for buyers yeah definitely i mean i told you the my preference was the red, red because it's a few uh, fuji red mm -hmm. and uh, the beauty of the red is uh, it's uh, metallic paint but it has 
it has also a clear coat which is red so it gives a lot a lot of depth so I like really uh, much that and then on the interior so it's nice it's a very uh, high contrast white and black but you have the the red and you have the alcantara it's that's that one is uh, it's yes, amazing that's something really interesting mm. and fascinating about the interior mm. Mm. Uh, white interiors and with mm. black. So, if you can tell us a little bit about your mm. So, we want something again uh, polarizing, not as only uh, uh, exterior but right. interior, right. and uh, so a lo lot of contra contrast and uh, vibrance. And uh, you can see also the mix of uh, materials. And that's a wrap from us here at Turn of Speed. If you've liked our video, do consider liking, sharing, as well as subscribing to our YouTube channel. See you in the next one. Ciao!